This video discusses how to create schedules for your building. There are two ways to create a schedule. From scratch or using the ready-made factory default schedules. First, we create a room schedule from scratch. Open the ribbon bar, documentation tab and click on the schedule, define schedule command. In the new schedule, creation dialog window, first choose the category architectural elements and select room and area from the types list. The dialog shows all the parameters for the currently selected room schedule. You can see the available room parameters in the middle of the dialog. This is the content of the factory template properties coming with the program installation. Let's create a new schedule from scratch. Click on the new button. The list appearing at the top is the available group of properties and BIM parameters. Choose one of them and you can start adding parameters to a schedule from the parameter list appearing below. Let's start with the floor, room name, room number and the surface finishes. Click on the Calculated Values category and add the Gross Area field. Now you can see the content of the new schedule appearing on the right side of the dialog window. You can recognize the fields, moving them up and down. And you can even delete any of them. Feel free to rename the fields when necessary. Let's change the gross area to area in this example. You can add parameters that will not appear when the schedule is be placed on the drawing, but you can use them for sorting the schedule in the formatting dialog. The room type or room code can be such a parameter for example. Click OK to save the schedule and close the dialog. As you can see, the new schedule appears in the Project Navigator in the Schedules category, Room and Area subcategory. If you want to make the schedule available for other project files, right-click on the schedule name and choose the Save as Global command. Let's place the schedule on the drawing. There are two ways to place schedules. You can place the schedule from the ribbon bar, documentation tab and select the schedules, placing schedule, command or you can drag and drop the selected schedule from the project navigator in the schedules category, room and area subcategory. First you need to set up how the information is presented using the formatting dialog window. You can change the sorting order of the parameters, add a header, a footer and grand totals. You can select the face fillers to apply and enable disabled itemize every instance option. Itemize every instance means that even the same item has multiple instances all over the project it does not get summarized, but it will appear individually, item by item in the list. The schedule information can be sorted by any of the parameters. Click OK to close the formatting dialog and place the schedule on the drawing. You can edit data sections of the schedule. Click on the schedule on the drawing and you can modify any of the data cells marked with dark blue markers. You can rename a room if you click in the data cell displaying the room name.
the magnifier icon finds the selected item on the drawing. Let's place wall schedule on the drawing. Use the ribbon bar, documentation, schedule, define schedule command. Choose the category architecture elements and select the wall from the type list. The dialog shows all the parameters for the currently selected wall schedule. We will use this after switching off the visibility of the style parameter. Close the dialog window with OK and place the schedule. Just as before, now you can change the sorting order of the parameters. Add a header, a footer and grand totals and sort the schedule information by any of the parameters. You can change the internal or external surface material if you click in the data cell displaying the wall materials. At first, check the ID of this wall on the drawing and then find it in the list. Choose a new color material in the library. The final result is appearing in the 3D window and in the list at the same time. You have the option to open the schedule in a completely new window. Right click on the name of the schedule in the project navigator and choose the display in one window command. You can change the internal or external surface material in this window too. Finally, place a door schedule on the drawing. Before placing a schedule, switch off the Itemize every instance option in the formatting schedule window. You can edit values of the schedule and modify four doors at the same time. Let's see an example. Modify the width value of the doors to 1250 mm. The result is appearing on the floor plan. You can use the magnifier icon to find the selected item on the drawing. To open and save schedules into Excel files, please use the ribbon bar, documentation, schedule, save to Excel command.